Amen. And may God bless Sister Lanise for singing that good song. Amen. Amen. I come too far. And that's me this morning. The Lord has brought me too far to turn around. Brother Clarence, can you sing me a song this morning? All right. Maybe y'all can wake me up. So God can use me anywhere, Lord. to live so. Amen. He's not going to use you if you don't live so. You got to live so he can use you any place at any time. You, you know, it may be, Brother Michael, may be in the, behind the prison uh, bar, but, but if he's in you, he can use you even behind the prison bar. It, it matters not where you are. Amen. God will have no respect or place to use you. In my mind, think about Jonah. Y'all know what Jonah's. 
Uh, amen. I mean, he tried to run away from what God wanted to do for him, yeah. wanted him to do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he didn't want to go where God wanted him to go. Yeah. So, he got, he, so he went down to Joppa yeah. and bought him a ticket yeah. to go somewhere that God didn't tell him to go. Yeah. Yeah. He got him a ticket bound for Tarsha. Yeah. But God wanted to send him to Nineveh. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he's he going to try to change God's program. You know, many of us try to change God's program. And not do what God said, but what we want to do. Yeah. And God had to show him. He, he let him get his ticket. He, he let him get on, on, on the ship. Amen. He thought he was going to Tarsha out of God's reach. He didn't know God had long arms. Amen. That he could not run the long arms of God. Amen. God let him get on out there. Let the ship move up from the seashores of Jaffa. And, and, and it, the modern name of that uh, city now is Tel Aviv. Yeah, yeah. And I had opportunity to be in Tel Aviv, in, in, around Jaffa. And, and I read a scripture while I was there, standing on a rock they called Jonah's Rock. Yeah. I'll let y'all see that picture. I found that picture uh, the other day, and I'll let y'all see it on Wednesday night. Amen. So Jonah couldn't escape the long hands of God. He, I'm going to say this. He let him get out in the midst of the sea. And God sent his high, uh, highway patrolman out there. A a a amen. And on the water. And held that ship up. Y'all read that? Ship couldn't go nowhere. Amen. Amen. The, the marina, they rode hard, the Bible said. Trying to bring it to show, but it wouldn't move. Amen. God had a highway, highway patrolman out there. Amen. They couldn't go nowhere. And, and so the, the captain said, something wrong now, because we've been selling this, this, this sea a long time. That's the Mediterranean Sea. We've been selling it a long time. Now, I don't know, but it's something is wrong now. It's why we can't. You know, sometimes you have a problem in the church because that wrong person on board. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm trying to say. Wrong person on board, and they're holding back. Yes. And God's going to stop him in the midst of the sea one day. Yes. Yes. And let him get out there in the midst of the sea. Yes. And let the zigzag lightning start uh, lightning up everywhere. The thunder start rolling. Yes. Well, the howling wind just howling everywhere. The captain said, wait a minute, something wrong now. We, we can't go. We've been selling this sea a long time. We never had this problem. Say, now every man you arise and call on your God. If, if you got a God, to call on your God. Maybe well, somebody God will hear you. And, and they called and called and, and they didn't get no answer. The wave kept on dashing. Wind kept on blowing. And the wrong man was on board. And they, they, they called on the God. And so they said, well, I don't know what happened. Said, maybe if we loading the, lighten the load of the ship. Maybe we throw some in the cargo off. Maybe the ship be able to go far. They, they, they threw over pressure cargo. Yeah. Overboard. Sometimes. Yeah. 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 Amen. They threw over pressure cargo trying to get that ship to go. Yeah. But it wouldn't move because God had it held up. Hello, yeah. something's wrong person on board. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Say, well, now we better, let's just let's, 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 let's search out this thing. Somebody went down the deck of the ship. Somebody went down to the bottom of the ship and they found a man there, a strange man, asleep. Down at the bottom. Somebody on yeah, they are better sleeping, y'all. We need to go and wake them up. Because they ain't they're not supposed to be on board. Hello, somebody. Went down there and found a man fast asleep. And they awakened him. And they asked him, What's your name? And he told him, where are you from? And what, who, who are your people? And he told him. He said, now I know what y'all trouble is. First of all, they cast a lot to find out where the problem lies. And a lot fell on John. And they asked him, man, where are you from? And he said, who are your people? And he said, well, I'm, I'm a Hebrew. He said, what's your problem? He said, well, now I tell you what, what's going on wrong. I'm trying to run from my God. But I found out I can't run. If you throw me overboard, your ship be able to move forward. Maybe somebody here needs to be thrown overboard. That holding El Beta back. 
A amen, amen, amen. They're holding up the, 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 amen, the progress of El Delta. And they know who they are. And they need to be thrown. Yeah. Thank you, Brother Truman. They need to be, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, Brother Truman. They need to be thrown overboard. And so they, they got, they said, now, we don't want to commit murder. We don't want his blood to be required at our hand. But John said, that's all right. Just throw me overboard. And you'll be able to sell this old rugged sea. And they taking Jonah at his word. You see, Jonah, what he thought, said, if you throw me overboard and I'll drown, then I won't have to do what God wants me to do. But if God wants you to do something, amen, he'll make you do it. Somebody said one way or the other. You know, that ain't what I'm supposed to preach this morning. <laughs> but he told him, say, now, nah, amen, John said, if you throw me overboard, I'll drown. And I won't have to go to Nineveh. Y'all want to sit down? <laughs> Some of them tired. They want to sit down. They throw them overboard. Brother Clowns, I won't have to go to them. But some people do everything to keep them doing God's will. Y'all know that, don't you? They'll, do it. They'll find all kind of excuses. Why they can't come to church. They'll make up excuses. Why they can't come to church. But God's going to get on your trail after a while. God gonna, 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 gonna track you down after a while because you're trying to evade what God wants you to do. Am I right about it? Well, now, I know I'm right about it. Thank you, Sister Cotton. I know I'm right about it. And Jonah said, if you throw me overboard, I'll, I won't have to go to Nineveh. He didn't know that God is the creator of heaven and earth. The Bible said the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein, that he have found it upon the sea, and they established it upon the flood. Who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord? He that a clean hand and a pure heart. A amen. And, and so John said, if you throw me over, but I won't have to go. But he didn't recognize that God is the creator of both heaven and earth.